No. No, it won't. Ladies and gentlemen, I haven't done anything for this channel in a while, so I thought I should probably talk about Ghost of Yote. Apologies for all the lackluster editing, I just need to get this video out. So, I sat down a couple of days ago and watched the trailer for Ghost of Yote, and a lot of things were going through my mind. This looks amazing, and I need to replay Ghost of Tsushima in black and white mode were the main things that came to mind. Um, apparently some people thought that a female protagonist what didn't go through my head until I sort of looked to see what other people were saying about it, and that is a majority of the videos. So I figured I should go through and sort of see whether or not it's going to be a DEI game. And and no, female characters in video games didn't, does not mean that it's woke. Yuna from Ghost of Tsushima, uh, beautiful. Uh, <laughs> let me let me let me phrase that better. Yuna from Ghost of Tsushima, great character. Lara Croft, not DEI. Samus, Ellie from The Last of Us One specifically. The Last of Us 2 is a bit of a different story. What about Yen, Tristan, Siri, and The Witcher? Cortana. No one will ever complain about the women in Overwatch, like Mercy. Um, what's her name? Widowmaker. Tracer. Obviously, that doesn't mean that we're, um, subject to no bad women in video games. Iden Versio and Alloy from Horizon 2 specifically come to mind, and if you want a awful woman in a game, direct your eyes towards Paimon from Genshin Impact. She makes me want to end it all. So, clearly, having strong women does not make a game work. Now, the other samurai game that everyone's hyped, or maybe not everyone's hyped about, but everyone is aware of is Assassin's Creed Shadows. Now, I am not gonna buy and play Assassin's Creed Shadows, because I have Ghost of Tsushima to play, and Ghost of Tsushima is just going to be a, or it is a better game than anything that Assassin's Creed Shadows could do. There is no, yeah, so that's just not happening. I'm not playing AC Shadows, I'll watch someone else play it. I'll see if Critical will probably play it, so I'll watch that. Um, there's a huge difference between Ubisoft and Sucker Punch, so Ubisoft lately, especially in its newer age of games doesn't really care about historical accuracy and also like really doing justice to what they'd make um the main the main talk about historical accuracy is i uh, let me let me even look up what the character's name is because i don't uh what's his name yasuke yasuke a lot of japanese scholars and historians say that while yasuke might have existed he did like absolutely nothing he was more on the defensive think about it this way you're making a game about a culture and instead of trying to celebrate that culture you there, there are tons of stories that you can take from japanese history and make that into a game about the japanese culture but instead you'd be Ubisoft decides, sorry about that, but instead Ubisoft decides to go and take a character who may or may not have even existed, the, you know, there's some, some, like, people who are very poorly documented in history, uh, Vlad the Impaler, no, not Vlad the Impaler, Sun Tzu, there's not a whole lot on Sun Tzu, right, you, you can find almost nothing on who Sun Tzu was when he actually did, he might not have existed. Same thing with Yasuke, right? So why would you pick someone who isn't from their culture, who had no real, if he was a real person, he had no real impact on um, Japanese history? Why do you take them instead of perfectly good Japanese culture and, and make something out of that? That's what, that's the m huge difference between Sucker Punch and, um, Ubisoft, because Sucker Punch took the Mongol invasion, which actually happened. In fact, it even reached Tsushima Island. Um, that was one of the, f I think it was Tsushima, um, the island that you play in the DLC. I haven't played the DLC for Ghost of Tsushima. And then mainland Japan, I'm pretty sure were the only places that the Mongols got. But, you know, this is something that actually happened. And they're making a historical fiction game with a lot of accuracy in it. Let's talk a little bit about why making a female samurai is is fine in the historical accuracy side of things. I don't know if you guys have passed eighth grade history, but when I was in eighth grade, I learned a little bit about feudal Japan, and we learned that female samurais certainly existed, they were highly skilled, and while they were less on the offensive and more on the defensive, they were still highly skilled samurai and you know, they were real. They, they existed. So it's not historically inaccurate to have a female samurai. Putting that out. Another thing, um, the people sort of around the mountain of Yote, uh, again, I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing stuff, I'm not Japanese. I haven't actually heard any Japanese people say it, but that's all right. 
Um, it, 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 it's basically called, in essence, it's called Female Mountain. And if we go back to Ghost of Tsushima, Jin was sort of a personification of Storm. His, his katana was called the Storm of Clan Sakai, and that relates back to history. I'm pretty sure the second Mongol invasion of Japan actually failed because of a storm. And so, you know, there might be something to do with the main character of Ghost of Yote personifying the mountain. It was a volcano. There might be something to do with that, and I'm interested to see if they take that, and I hope they do. Uh, one other thing that people are claiming makes Ghost of Yote woke is the voice actor for our main character. And yeah, yeah, she, she is. She is all of the colors of the rainbow, and also don't attack me for calling her a she, because she doesn't care if you look at her Twitter. So, you know, um, now, yes, let's, let's talk about the bad first. Generally, people who are on the further left side of politics, talking Western, often want to have more influence on what they have a role in. So, if we have a look at what games she's been in, um, I won't have a look at the movies, um, but I've picked four of the games that she has previously been in. Um, Pacific Drive, Apex Legends, Black Ops Cold War, and the Mortal Kombat one from this year. In Pacific Drive, I've seen that it has just like the normal, just like flags and stuff around, but I don't think they play too much of a part into the story. Apex Legends, her character's gay, but like I haven't found that it's shoehorned in a whole lot. It's just a couple of dialogue, just a bit humorous, a bit funny. Um, in Black Ops Cold War, her operator is pretty normal. She's like a cyber ninja. And then in Mortal Kombat, um, to be fair, Sector used to be a man, and then they made him a woman. I don't know the reasoning. It's also in a DLC. Maybe they did like an X-23 type thing, um, where Logan dies and she takes over. Well, after that wonderfully out of breath rebuttal, like seriously, I don't know why I'm so out of breath. I think we can be... Excited for Ghost of Yote. I certainly am. I'm certainly going to be replaying Ghost of Tsushima, and I hope you do too.